Okay, Mark Miller here, and before the, the game tonight between Fort Loramie and Marion Local, we've got a chance to talk with athletic director here at Marion Local, Dan Koenig. And Dan, tonight is a game that you guys are calling the impact game. Our two communities are linked by the death of two, uh, two people, two great community members in, in, both, in both communities. Um, Aaron Rose and Dan Toby um, were both teachers at Fort Loramie uh, schools for many years. Um, and uh, tragically, last year when we were playing Fort Army, ironically, in the regional finals at Kettering, um, on the way leaving from leaving work, Aaron was killed in a car accident and really devastated both of our communities. And then, um, then uh, Dan Toby, we found out uh, shortly after Christmas last year, about Mar uh, January, February, that he was dealing with a brain tumor. Dan. Uh, Coach came over to Marion about four or five years ago and started teaching, and you know it was just it was awesome. You know I had my buddy back, you know, and um, he, uh, you know, wanted to. He kind of at the end of last year, track was his love, love coaching track, and um, at, um, about April May says, you know I, I got to step away. I got to make sure I get on top of this uh, tumor, and, and and so he kind of took some time and and and. Uh, really started to attack it and really fight that and, and was doing well, was doing well. We started uh, this fall and he goes, you know, I want to coach football with you guys. And we were like, anytime you can come out, we'd love to have you. The kids would love to have you out here. So uh, then uh, Dan came out and um, about um, oh, week three, week four of football, he's like, you know, things are getting to be a little much. I'm going to have to step away. And unfortunately, uh, week nine, week 10, uh, first week of the playoffs right in that time frame. Uh, Dan lost his battle, and uh, so there, there is the connection between you know Fort Laramie and Marion Local with these two great individuals. Um, that, you know these two guys just jumped in and got involved with anything that you asked for, and they weren't the type to just n not get involved, but instead be leading the process or be leading anything. And you know they have had an impact on so many of us from both these communities that uh, Coach Britton. Um, the summer sometime reached out to coach Guttermiller and said you know we play at your place let's do something for these families for these for these two guys and kind of remember them a little bit so we kind of came up with the the, the impact game and we really didn't know where to go with it or whatever but um as it drew a little closer we started to talk a little bit more and um so yeah we came up with this impact idea and just the, because of the impact that they've had on so many of our people in our community so um we uh kind of presented it to one of our other Booster members, uh, Mr. Norman Loigers, who has uh, got a real, real talent uh, with woodworking and different things. And um, he was industrial arts teacher at Fort Recovery, and now he's an industrial arts teacher at Bakken's. And, you know, just uh, a tremendous talent. He walked in the other day with a trophy, and I went to tears. I was, it was beautiful. It's just beautiful. Now this will be an annual event? Yes, it's going to be a traveling trophy. Um, and you know how I don't know how long it's going to hold on, but yeah, we're definitely going to be an annual event, a traveling trophy. So. Well, we see your shirt. Tell us about the shirts and how that came about. Well, um, we really weren't shoot. The teams were going to get together and have you know shirts to kind of wear with ever with you know to, during the course of the game and kind of thought well, Dan, we had our community and Fort Army community all bought the gray shirts for Dan Toby, signifying uh, the significance of brain cancer. So um, we thought well, let's wear gray tonight. Well, well. Um, we didn't really didn't know if we were going to go with shirts or not. Well, Studio 11 from Fort Laramie stepped up and said, you know, hey, we're willing to get some shirts done if you want. So they set it on the websites. So we kind of put it out on Twitter and Facebook, things like that for, uh, yeah, if, it, if you're interested in it. Well, 700 shirts later in two days time, um, our communities just jumped up and, and grabbed it. So that's why so many people are wearing the impact shirts tonight. So. Impressive sight in the yeah. gymnasium right now. And, and Mark Shine and I doing the game tonight. We don't have the impact shirts, but we're in gray <laughs> yeah. to support there, the, there the event. Out of tragedy comes memory, yeah. honor, and a tribute to two great men. Good for you guys. Yep. We need to uh, share their impact and what they did with everybody and, and try to build on that and use that ourselves to make impact on others' lives. So.